Welcome back everybody to craftingonabudgetstore.com for all your crafting and scrapbooking needs and so much more. I wanted to, I was going to finish this tomorrow and then I said, you know what, let me just wrap this up tonight because I don't know what's on my agenda for tomorrow. And so I said, you know what, let me just do this. So I did do the cover. And I did it without you simply for the fact that you guys already know how to do this cover. Um, you've done it a million times and we did it in our Minte book. So just so you know, you're not, you're not missing out. That was five eighths. Okay. Hold on. I just wanted to get my measurements right so I could give them right to you. Um, so anyway, my chipboard pieces are five and five eighths by four and a quarter, two of them. And my spine is one and a half by five and five eighths. And then what I did was I took two pieces of 12 by 12 paper and I cut them down to seven and a half by 12. And I put my little thin strip of uh, tape, the quarter inch tape on one end and I connected them together. And I had this giant piece, okay? And then I just chopped off what I didn't need. But before I chopped off what I didn't need, I laid out my um, pieces so that my spine would be almost center of where I taped those pieces together. So that's, that's how we got to that part. And then I covered this with a piece of paper that is five and a quarter by 10 and an eighth. Um, so that's what I, how I covered this here. And I just have been working with the spine to make sure it, it behaves properly. And it does. And so now I'm going to do the inside. Um, which I'm going to do with you together. And I already cut my seam binding. I had this seam binding in my stash and it matches. So we're going to use it. So what I did was I took two pieces of score tape and on either side, kind of centered, not totally centered. I added my, um, I'm going to add two pieces of seam binding. This is just like we did. If you're familiar with the mint tape because I like having two ribbons. Um, so I'm kind of just overlapping them a little bit and I'm going to put two ribbons on each side. Yeah, I thought it was just better. Just finish it. <laughs> you know me guys. I like to, I like to be done when I'm, when I'm done, I'm done. I like to be done. So here I'm just putting some of my ribbon. And then this is overlapping a little bit and there you have the ribbon next we're going to do a double mat so the first mat on each on each of them is going to be four and an eighth by almost five and a half very shy of five and a half okay so i'm going to put this down and i'm going to use my um Fabri-Tac to do this. I'm going to be using Fabri-Tac till the end. I'm just covering this nicely. Okay. And then remember those two cutouts that I found. I just cut them down like a tiny bit and I'm going to put them on top. And I mean, when I tell you I cut the, I maybe cut an eighth off of them. And these were the cutouts on the um, paper, but I will measure it for you in case you're not using this paper. And it's sad if you're not using this paper because you will love what we're going to do with the cover. And you're going to wish you had this paper, so you better order it. Um, so let me give you the measurement of the second mat, which is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. So just so you know, let me pull out a little bit so you can see better. Oh, that didn't help. Nope. Oh yeah. That. Okay. So, oh, pulling my ribbons. 
<laughs> that's not good okay so now let me add this I didn't add my book in yet but I will it will be so just hang tight for a second um, I like to try to get as much of this inside work done as possible before I lay down my um, book. It's just easier. And here we go. Whoa. Who was running around? Running around the page. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put this guy here. Looks really pretty, very wintry. Um, I take it back. You can't make two books. I looked at what is left, and you can't make two books out of it. So I'm just letting you know because I did tell you you could, and you can't. So now for my cover, I have these two pieces are going to go on either side which are really cute and these measure if you're not um four and an eighth by five almost five and a half just shy of five and a half again there we go with that measurement crazy measurement i know guys And I'm just making sure I'm looking where it bends. But I don't want to go over the bend. And I'm going to put this on here. There we go. And I'm going to smooth it out with this. I always forget to do that. But there we go. And then I'm just going to look and see where my fold line is there. Just because I don't want to go over my fold line. And I'm going to put this one on the back cover. And like I said, if you're not familiar with how to wrap your covers and, you know, with the chipboard and everything, just look for the Minte album, which is part of, you know, all of the videos that I've been doing. And you will see how easy it is to do. So, you know, you could just fast forward to that part. I don't know if I did it in the beginning or if I did it at the end. But you could just fast forward to that part if you don't want to watch the whole minute. Um, next, I'm going to put my um, spine. I just want to make sure it's going in between. And, you know, sometimes I do like to, to clip this for a second just so that I can, I'm getting my spine on right where I need it to be. And this spine piece is going to be also double matted. It is one and a half by almost five and a half. That's a weird measurement we got going on, but it works. So let me put this on. That way we're all done with our book and then we can figure out what we're going to do with our scraps. At a later date not tonight <laughs> not tonight i'm too tired tonight now okay nice and then i have this other piece to kind of double mat the spine and this is one um and a quarter by five and an eighth and this is just to give it a little bit of dimension and I do have some stragglers of paper even though my trimmer is new the blade I put in is new so that's a problem but we're not going to worry about that right now we're just going to go with it and I'm going to put this on Oh, don't crook it. Don't want to crook it. There we 
gonna thread my glue tap and I'm gonna fill in my glue tap. That's the only thing with art glare glue is it dries really quick. So if you're not fast, you're in trouble. There we go. All right, so there we have that. Nicey, nicey, nice. Now we're going to put in, oh, I do want to put some of that trim that I used before. I'm going to put some of this trim on each edge. So let me do that before I forget. And you know, it's, it's hard because you're trying to like lay it all out, measure it, you know, trying to get it to be perfect. You know, I want it to be perfect for you guys. I want you guys to really, you know, love the project that you do, but it's a lot of work because I'm trying to measure everything and what's happening with this glue. I feel like I have more glue on my hand than I do on the lace. I'm going to put a little bit under here. To, I think it dried up. All right, come on now. Don't give me any more problems, please. Okay, maybe a little bit under here. Okay, and then we'll put some on this side. And then we will add our bookend. You believe we made a book today that's why i love this pattern and guys if you wanted it taller you could use the same dimensions just make it taller if you wanted it you know if you wanted it bigger and if you go on to laura dennison i think she actually like gives you um how you would do it you know what i mean like how you would come up with your own measurements if you wanted to do your own type of thing. All right, so here we go with this. Now I'm going to clip this. And I already made a little mark down here with my pencil so that I know where to line this up to. Because that sometimes could be a problem, lining this up. And I don't want it to be so... one I use clips a lot like close pins those you know I use them a lot when I'm doing my books because they really do help especially when you're trying to like look you know at something or you know look over something you know it's sometimes it's difficult especially if you're trying to do it on video you can't see you're not, you know, sometimes I like to stand <laughs> when I'm, when I'm adding my, uh, come on, come apart. Oh, I'm so sad. I need, I need more of my tape. I have to tell May. Uh, May, I'm coming, coming to the website. I need my tape because I really only like this tape. I'm settling for what I have because I have to finish the project. There we go. All right. Now I'm just making sure it's going the right way because I have put in a book the wrong way <laughs> once. And I'm going to line it up with my line. And I just want to make sure that it's kind of centered. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it to be. Oops. I do want it to be centered as best as I can. So let me just take a look here. Along that line. Okay. All right. And then I'm going 
gonna burnish in between my pages even though we do have a lot of tape on there to hold it in place I still want to burnish it and there we have it that was the last page okay so let me burnish that one really good all right so look at all our pages are in oh my gosh our flip everything's in you see that's a little a little tight there like it's at the score mark so it's a little tight I might want to just take my scissors and do just like a tiny hair of a trim um, let's see I think that should be good. I mean, I literally took a hair off. Mm. A little bit more, I think. Well, much better. Okay. I just don't like that to get it attached. And, you know, I was trying to get it in there. And, oh. Okay, this is just too oh, it's so cute all right but wait till you see what we're going to do for the cover i had this idea in my head and i was like oh have to do it for this book yeah i'm just going to tie this now we're not going to be looking inside this anymore because once i do this cover you'll see why we we have to wait for it to um much more call it we're gonna have to wait for it to stay glued so we're not going to be doing anything once I, I do this cover um just letting you guys know okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I cut a circle that matches a half of a plastic ornament um believe it or not I got my plastic ornaments that break away that break apart from Dollar General. My Michaels did not have it. So all I did was I took my half of a thing and I traced it and then I cut my little house out. Now, let me get start getting my fabric pack ready because we're going to need it. So let that start floating down. Let me close this because we're not going to use this and we're going to add some Gonna add some uh, snow inside there to make it a snow globe. But let me just, I'm just cleaning up because I, I just don't want to mess. And I also want to make sure that we can get this perfect. So anyway, getting back to... Dollar General. My Dollar General had sold them two for a dollar. And they were the only place that had them. Michaels, for some reason, my Michaels did not have them. Um, the girl said that they had come in with like a big container where you had to buy like 20 or something. And then there was none left. So, all right. I'm going to take some of this fake snow. Now, this is from Dollar Tree. Oh, my gosh. I'll just take some. Oh, my gosh. I'll have to get a little container for this or something. Now, I don't want to overload this picture, um, so I'm taking like a little pinch and I'm isolating it to the middle only of my picture. Anything that falls away, I'm just going to sweep away 
um because i want the snow to be in the middle because i have to glue my bulb down it's hard to tell how much you're gonna need um i think one more little pinch that should do me And I love this particular snow from Dollar Tree. That might be too much. I'm going to take a little bit out. Um, I guess there's no exact science to it, guys. It is what it is, right? Um, but I like this. It's called Faux Snow. But it's the new one by that Crafter Square. And I like it because it has um, lots of glitter in it. I like mica in it. I love it. It's so glittery. And we know how much I love my glitter. All right. So now comes the hard part. <laughs> Not really, but hard for me because I get nerved out. I am putting Fabri-Tac. all along the edge of this globe half of ornament i'm calling it a globe already it's not a globe it's half of an ornament so we're going to go very carefully as you can see because i don't want to miss any spots if i miss a spot on this we're going to have a problem because then the the snow is going to come out and I'm already seeing a problem. I got some inside and I don't want it inside. I want it on the outside. So get rid of that bubble. And you can snap that top part off if you want. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it because I'm going to put a bow up on there. Looks like I got some glue in there. I don't want that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's going to have to work. I'm just looking at all the other edges to see how my glue looks looks good except for that one little spot there but I don't want to mess with it anymore I don't think it's going to take away and if I use undo which would work in this case it would start undoing the rest of the glue and the rest of the glue I got down pretty good so yeah. Let me just fix this edge because I want it to be on the edge only. All right. Ready or not. <sighs> Take a breath. Now I'm going to move this close to me, guys, so I can see what I'm doing. And then you'll see. Okay, all right, pushing down on the fabric tack, pushing down on my globe. Okay, now I'm not going to move it, I'm not going to shake it, I'm not going to do anything to it. The only thing I am going to do is try to very carefully put some trim around this with the fabric tack and put a bow on the top but i have to get my trim so let me cut my trim it's over here i'm sorry i didn't have that ready i apologize you know it's so hard to like 
have every single thing at your disposal all the time. And I just don't seem to do, I don't seem to have it. Uh, should I use the art glitter glue for this? Um, I just don't know if this fabric tack is going to make a mess. I think I'm going to use art glitter glue. I, I think I'm, I might use the, the fabric tack for my bow, but I think for the art, glue, I'll use art glitter glue for this trim because this trim is really thin. Making sure it has a, a, a glitzy side and it has a plain side. And I want the glitzy side, of course. Hmm. All right, I'm going to just turn my project as I go. So, so you guys know what I'm doing here. And I'm hoping that by doing this, it's going to actually give like an extra layer of a protection so that my snow doesn't fall out. But I can't guarantee that that's what this is going to do. I can't guarantee that my snow is not going to fall out at all. I'm hoping it doesn't. And I'll show you on another video when it's all dried overnight what we think <laughs> and how it went. But for right now... I feel like I can't even breathe around this project. <laughs> I just love snow globes. I used to collect snow globes. I have a sad story about my snow globes. Um, I used to collect snow globes. I love them. Um, and I was moving. And... I had a box of snow globes and the box fell and every single snow globe broke. So that was very sad. <laughs> um, and you know what? I haven't ever gotten a snow globe since, but I do love them. I think I would love one with a nativity in it. I think that would be so beautiful. I've never seen one with a nativity in it, but I think that would be really pretty for Christmas to have one for the holidays. I'm overlapping just a little. There we go. That's good. Okay. Let's see, add a little more glue here. It's not staying. So yeah, but you know what's interesting about the snow globes when they did break? Um, after I composed myself and looked at them, the inside of a snow globe is so tiny. It's the glass, the globe itself that magnifies. Why isn't that sticking? Um, it's it magnifies it so the like scene it even though the scene looks big when you're looking at the snow globe when when it breaks open it's so tiny it's amazing uh, well i was amazed at it i was amazed that i broke them all too <laughs> okay here we go it's staying better now. That's it. That's some art glitter glue. Get that off of there. All right. And then I was thinking of putting a bow, but like using this, this lace, because I think it's so pretty, and making a bow and just putting that on the top. But I'm going to see how I like it. But I do like this lace. All right.
Let me just cut a piece. I can't do it working with the whole thing. Let's see. Let's see if I like that. I do like that. And maybe I could put one. I'm thinking. Having a little think. If Mary's watching, she knows what that means. <laughs> having a little think. I'm always having a think. That's a problem. That is my problem. My mind never shuts off. And I'm sure it's the same for you guys because most crafty people, their mind just doesn't turn off. Like I try to explain it to my husband, you know, like I'm like envisioning projects, you know, while I'm sleeping. That's how this one, the snow globe came to, came into my head. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to find those things. Now, I know May has a link to some that are smaller or something that go in that beautiful frame. And, oh, I'm going to try the paper clay, too, by the way. Just, just giving you a warning. I'm going to be doing some paper clay because she sent me some and a mold. And so we're going to play around with that, too, only because I've never even, I think I did it once. And I don't even know. Um, I think I use like Crayola's clay or something, not like, you know, not big girl clay. So, um, but yes, so we're going to do that. And, um, but she has this beautiful frame I want to get the um, mold for because she's been using this frame and putting the balls, like these balls in that frame, but they're small. They're, they would fit perfectly in the frame. And I thought, oh, that would be so pretty to make for ornaments. So. All right. Get my glue. Put away. Let's get this glue out. Oh, my gosh. This is fabric tack I think I'm going to have to throw this one out. It just... And I know you're not supposed to shake it. I know you're all saying, Michelle, don't shake it. It's going to explode when you go to shed it. And I know it is, but I'm getting impatient. I'm getting impatient. I want my project done. <laughs> all right. So we put some glue there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I just have to cut this a tiny little bit because it's a little bit too long. Put that like that. I'm just pushing it down on the glue. There we go. Then I was thinking... What about we use one of these white? Hmm. Might use one of these white flowers, but we might have to take the gold piece out of it. Remember the flowers I told you to go get at Hobby Lobby? We might use one of those. But we might have to change out because I don't like this gold. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to rip that off. Yeah, take that off. Mm -hmm. And then put a little rhinestone in there. Because I want it to be blingy. And then put a little fabric 
return. Find it. Okay, this is the last day for this Fabri-Tac because it's too much, too, too much, too crazy. And put that on top. And there we have it, guys. We're going to call it a day. We're going to call it a day. Yes, the project is finished. I'll probably crinkle these because I don't like them not crinkled. Um, but I won't do that. Won't do that tonight um, because I have to let everything dry. And I don't want to mess with anything. I don't want to ruin my snow globe so we're just going to leave it like that i'm going to try to lift it up so you could see what it is kind of going to look like got some glue strands there i would not recommend hot glue um, for this and the reason is that it melts the plastic if you're if you're not fast enough and you if, and if you put way too much glue it just melts it and you don't want that to happen trust me so i would just use like any any kind of glue really i mean i probably could use the art glitter glue to be honest but i thought i'd use the fabri -Tac. so i'm not gonna crinkle my bows or fix the edges of them because i just don't want to mess with this cover yet but I hope that you had a good time with this. I hope that you make one. I think this is super sweet for winter, not just for Christmas. You could do this for a wedding, put a wedding picture inside. I was thinking this would be a cute album for a baby um, because we did have 24 pictures inside. So you could do two pictures per month of the baby as they're growing up. You know how people do the albums and they have like, you know, month one through 12. Well, each month could have, a, you know, two pictures, which would be cute if you're making it for a baby. I think it'd be adorable for a bride. Any Christmas paper, this would be beautiful with. And um, uh, like I said, you can adjust it so that if you want to make it taller, you can. I like this size. Now, I've cut up this paper a lot. So I'll show you what we have left. Like we have, we have some bigger pieces like these two. I tried not to cut the images, but I don't know what we're going to do with them. So, you know, like this, I mean, I save it just in case, um, but not not too much like definitely not enough to make another book um but maybe i'll make some cards some christmas cards um i think that might be fun to do and i haven't done that or i don't know i don't know what we're going to do with it but we'll we will finish using that paper and i did have a little project one more project to do with what i have left in that christmas paper which is not much i don't have much in the christmas department in fact let's see what we have left because i don't even know if what i want to do is going to fit um on the pages i have left so let's take a look we'll take a look together because i i don't have um this is while we're while we're chatting while we're chatting Okay, this is what I have left in the Christmas. I have this page, which obviously I'll use for tags, so that really isn't something to to use. This, I don't know. This, uh, it might work. It might work. Um, but I need two sheets, and then this one. Here's an, here's more tags. So I'll be using those as tags, and then this sheet and this sheet and what i thought i would do is i'll show you the, the i just drew out a little pattern uh, go on to like um google or you know one of those search engines and google for yourselves coloring book images and look for stockings 
and that's what I did. And then I just kind of looked at it and said, oh, I need it to be way smaller because I'm using six by six paper. Um, but I thought, here's my little stocking. I traced it out. Wouldn't this be so cute? Oh, I wish I could grab those lettering, but it's not going to work. Not going to work. I might put this on vellum so I could see through it. Um, like that would work. The sweet moments, maybe, maybe not. If I cut, cut my pattern out a little bit smaller up here, but this clock could definitely fit, but you need two pieces. Cause I was thinking if I use two pieces of it, then I could um, sew around it and actually make it a pocket. So I thought that would be cute, but this is all we have left <laughs> from this collection. So we'll have to see what we can do. And I might trace this onto vellum just so I could see through it because right now really, I mean, I can see a little bit, but not too much. But I thought, wouldn't that be so sweet? to make little stockings and just, um, you know, maybe put some lace on the top and put a little seam binding um, red ribbon hanging from the side. And I thought that what they could be used for is to hold your utensils at your place settings. See how I'm just, I'm going to do more for my place settings. Um, we got the cards, we have the cones. Now I'm thinking these like a mini stocking. So that I think we might do. And maybe we'll even well, see this blue is not going to match. That's the problem. We can't, can't use the blue for that because the blue is not going to match what we need it for. Um, so we'll have to figure out a different project for the blue. But other than that, I think it would be so cool. You know, I might staple this while I'm here. I think it would be so cute to sew little paper stockings, you know, and I might sew them off camera and just show you them and decorate them together because, I don't know, I think the sewing machine might make an awful lot of noise, but I'm just stapling this back together so we don't have that all over the place. Um... But yeah, that's what I was thinking for the next project. I, I love stockings anyway. Um, I've decorated, oh my gosh, I don't know how many lace stockings I've made <laughs> over our career. I know May did a kit for one, I believe. I think, oh, just so much lace stuff we did. Um, and I do think that we made a, a lace stocking. Um, I'm pretty sure we made a lace stocking. I could almost like guarantee we did. Um, I made a lace Santa hat. I mean, it's just crazy, crazy lace projects. We were the crazy lace ladies. And so I might thin this out a little bit because I don't know, it's kind of wide up at the top. So I might, I might just thin this out a tiny pinch, but we'll see. But that's what I was thinking for the remaining pages. And of course, I'm not going to have enough two to a page I'll have three I'll have four total so I won't have as many as I would like but at least I'll have some and so you know but it's a cute way to to use the rest of your paper anyway guys I could give all night long and I know that I'm wondering if this is yes yes look look don't mess it up, Michelle. Don't mess it up. Look at, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's working. Oh my gosh. All right, I got to leave it. I'm going to leave it because I don't want to have a problem. But look at, it shakes. The snow globe works. Oh my goodness. And that's more than enough snow and it's not falling out. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh. See, I'm so happy we, we, we chatted now because now you can see it in action. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. I just love it. 
see some stick to the inside with the static you know but so so cool i love it i lo absolutely love it hope you love it too hope you make one and if you do go on to the facebook group crafting on a budget um so that i can see what you make because i'd love to see you know everything that you do and drop me a comment please like the videos um it really helps out with the um analytics behind the scenes with youtube so please give it a big thumbs up and until the next time stay safe be well god bless you all and bye for now